Judy Ann Ford, an 18-year-old gymnast from Illinois, was the first blonde in 11 years to be crowned Miss America. I'm so glad, she gushed to the press that evening. I feel like it's a breakthrough. Meanwhile, just four blocks from Convention Hall at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, another ideal was about to be chosen. Calling itself a positive protest, the Miss Black America pageant had been scheduled to begin at midnight in the hopes that newsmen would drop by when they left Convention Hall. It was nearly three in the morning before 19-year-old Philadelphian Sandra Williams was crowned. Miss America does not represent us, Williams told the audience. With my title, I can show black women they too are beautiful. Miss Black America is, of course, an effort to say, well, look, trying to be like a white person is not what's at stake, but appreciating what is black is quite important. So Essence Magazine emerges, black is beautiful, Afros, you know, black women emphasizing that which is black as beautiful. And so this was a way of saying we exist as both a market and as a, a kind of aesthetic really begins to take place in the late 1960s and, and gets even stronger in the late 70s and 80s. All the controversy of 1968 took its toll on Miss America. And before the year was out, Pepsi-Cola, a sponsor of the pageant for over 11 years, withdrew its support. Miss America as run today, the company declared, does not represent the changing values of our society. Society was swirling around it, but the Miss America pageant stayed the same, continuing to worship an outmoded ideal in fact, the powers that be at the pageant never did learn. They never did learn. 